Hey everybody, this is Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Yard. Uh, I received a question the other day by email from a coach who had heard the phrase separation for hitters. Uh, he had heard that his son needed to get more separation and wasn't really uh, understanding what that concept meant. So I thought I'd spend a little time and explain what that means. Uh, as hitters get older, separation becomes more and more important because separation is going to uh, generate some bat speed and it's also going to generate some more power. Uh, when kids are little, separation really isn't all that important. Um, and so let me explain what separation is and then talk about the pros and cons of the concept. Separation is basically when a player strides forward with his lead foot, his hands should go back slightly. So basically his front foot and his hands separate. They get farther apart. So in reality, it's gonna look like this. I get my stance, when I stride, my hands go back. So my front foot goes forward and my hands get, go back slightly, creating a little more separation between my foot and my hands. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of that because depending on how, how old the player is, uh, will determine whether I emphasize uh, the separation at all or how much. First of all, the pros. Um, as a kid gets older, of course, he's gonna have to develop more uh, bat speed and more power. Getting your hands back enable you to get a little more bat speed and a little more power. Be very much like a boxer. If he starts his hands right here and goes forward, he'll be able to hit somebody, but not really with a lot of power. So, but if a boxer brings his hands back and then punches, he can get a lot more force into his punch. Well, the same principle works with a hitter in terms of getting that separation. So that's the positive. The downside is some players do not do it correctly. One of the mistakes some kids make when they do their separation is that they bring their hands too far back. They lock their front arm, creating a long aroundabout swing, which uh, if they're, they're facing any type of batter or any pitcher who throws hard, the ball's gonna be by them by the time they get the bat around. So that's one thing to be careful of. And in fact, if I have a young player who's really struggling with hitting the ball at all, I won't even emphasize separation. I will just have him start with his hand still, stride, and go straight to the ball. It's shorter, it does not involve as much movement, it's one less thing they have to worry about, and when a player starts to get consistent contact, then I'll start worrying about getting a little more separation so that they can develop a little more power. So first things first, the kid's struggling hitting, don't worry about separation at all, just making contact is more important. As they get older, through the middle school level, certainly the high school level, separation becomes more important to keep their weight back, to quicken their swing, and also develop a little more power. So thanks for the question. Uh, that's your uh, answer for what separation is. And if you have any other further questions, make sure you email them to me. Hopefully I can make them into some future video posts. And thanks for coming to Baseball by the Art and have a great day.